Are our dreams just random images fired from an unconscious brain during sleep? Or something much more important, like life-saving inner guidance? How dreams can be healing and early warning tools for disease, financial crisis, or success. And love is still one of the behavioral science's greatest unanswered questions. Hello, I'm your host, author Kat O'Keefe Cannabis. Welcome to Dreaming Healing, where dreams and cutting edge scientific research meet on syndicated Dream Vision 7 radio network. Dreaming Healing is every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern with live shows on the first and third evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific when you can call in and ask Kat questions about your amazing dreams. Talk on air. Call toll-free 833-220-1200. That's 833-220-1200. Come live your dreams out loud with Kat. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Dreaming Healing on Dream Vision Center. Radio Network. I am your host, Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis, but my friends all call me Kat, so I hope you will too. Uh, if you are only listening to this show and you'd like to watch it, you can go to my website by typing in to Google search the Queen of Dreams, and my website will come right up. Or you can type in my name, Kathleen O'Keefe cannabis and that's k-a-t-h-l-e-e-n-o-k-e-e-f-e-k-a-n-a v as in victor o-s as in sam so our show tonight is titled um reverend dr temple hayes and cruising with gratitude uh sounds like fun doesn't it well it is and so what we're gonna be talking about is how during the COVID epidemic, we all got locked down and we were all like little hermits in our house. Well, that's over, that's gone. And it is time to party and embrace gratitude again. Oh, how we missed our cruises. And why are cruises so special? Have you ever dreamed of cruising in the Mexican warm waters during a cold snowstorm well now that's what i call a gratitude cruise and the cruise speaker tonight will include the well the speakers on the cruise and this is the cruise i'm actually talking about they're going to include peter canova who's the author of quantum spirituality and there's also going to be karen drucker on there uh, with inspired music and Temple Hayes is going to be on there, and I'm going to be on that cruise with Dreams Unmasked. What's Dreams Unmasked? Well, if you look over my shoulder, you probably see some masks hanging on that wall. And we're going to delve into your dreams to find your little nugget of gold by unmasking that dream. And so we're going to be talking about this cruise tonight with Dr. Reverend Temple Hayes. But first, Let's do our clearing and our protection meditation. Okay, so those of you who are new to the show, haven't seen, heard it before, just follow my voice. Sit down nice and deep in your chair. Feel your shoulders relaxing. You can kind of move them around if you want. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Hold it. Imagine any negativity that may have come your way today, getting caught in that breath of life and blow it out across the room. Get rid of it right into the purple flame of Saint Germain, where it's converted, immediately converted into this beautiful golden light that goes straight up through the universe, past the moon, up to the pearly gates, where it makes a U-turn, and comes right back down at the speed of thought into your seventh chakra, filling your whole body with warm golden light. You can feel it from your nose all the way down to your toes. Oh, it feels so good. Let's do it again. Deep breath in. Hold it. Any negativity you may have done to somebody else said to somebody else, thought about somebody else. 
into that breath of life. Blow it out. Right into that purple flame of Saint Germain where poof, golden light back up to the universe and around and back down into your seventh chakra at the speed of thought, filling your whole body with warm, cuddly golden light all the way down to your toes. One more deep breath in. Any negativity that you remember from your childhood that you've been carrying with you into that breath of life, blow it out right into that purple flame, gone. Up into the universe is beautiful golden light, making that you turn at the speed of thought into your seventh crown chakra, filling your whole body from your toes, from your nose to your toes with golden light. Now imagine holding your power gift, anything that gives you power, can be your favorite flower, a piece of jewelry, a feather, anything that holds power for you. We're going to swing it around our body, all around our body, and create a beautiful mirrored bubble that only allows that which is of the highest and best brought by our spirit guides and guardian angels into our bubble to us. Everything else is reflected back from whence it came. We wish it so, and therefore it is. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes while you listen to me tell you a little bit about our guest tonight, Reverend Dr. Temple Hayes. She served three years in the United States Army Reserves and then became a Science of Mind Minister in 1991, and an ordained unity minister in 2007. Described as a prophet and mystic for our times, and the new spiritual leader the world needs today, Temple Hayes is a difference maker, spiritual leader, author, international motivational speaker, humanitarian, life rights advocate, shamanic practitioner, and president and founder of Life, Rights, and Global Peace Workers. She has served globally as a spiritual leader of New Thought Communities that transcends religious denominations. It embraces all ethnicity and reaches beyond national borders as well as on the ascension of global new thought leadership team. Temple authored The Right to Be You, How to Speak Unity, and When Did You Die? And is a contributing author to the inspiring books, Crappy to Happy, Sacred Stories of Transformational Joy, and Mayhem to Miracles by Sacred Stories Publishing, and shares inspiration with her listening with her listeners on her podcast, The Intentional Spirit. Welcome to the show, Temple. Temple? Uh-oh. Did we lose Temple? Here I am. I was <laughs> listening to you um, read that, and I thought, I'm not going to be able to get by with saying I'm 35 months longer. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say you were 35 or you had 35 years? No, it was just all the things that I have been up to. I'm not going to be able to fit all that in and I'm being facetious. Oh, Thank you for having you, you me. It's a, a pleasure. Very, you are such a busy, busy lady and we are so honored to have you on this show. Oh, I'm thrilled to be with you. And more importantly, I'm thrilled that you and Peter are going to be part of this cruise. It's like a big dream of mine to share a cruise ship experience with uh, the two of you. So that's going to be fantastic. 
You know, it's amazing. People listening uh, are, are actually uh, texting me <laughs> now. So they want to know about the cruise. They don't care about anything else. So let's you jump bet. right into it and then we can just discuss it. So it's called Spirit at Sea Travel. Can you tell us why you chose Spirit, Spirit at Sea Travel to do the Spirit at Sea Gratitude Cruise? Well, um, a number of years ago, I was contacted by Ari Boris. Ari Boris has had a travel magazine, Cruise Gourmet, since he was in his 20s. So a very long time. And he takes uh, groups to travel all over the world. And he contacted me a number of years ago because he wanted to do cruises also, in addition to the Broadway cruises and all the other things. He wanted one that had spiritual teachings and mm. spiritual intentional components to that. So we started, he and I are co-owners of Spirit at Sea Travel. And we've done the Rhine River, the Danube, um, Holland America cruises. Uh, we've put together cruises for the Unity Movement. We had 200 people for Science of Mind magazine. And not only do we put together groups of people to go, but we also, for organizations, can do it as a fundraiser for mm -hmm. a group of people as well. So it's a very beautiful thing. But the short of it is that often, um, especially those of us that carry a vibration like the people on your show, you love cruises, but you can only do so many bathing suit competitions. You know what I mean? And you can only play so much bingo and excursions. And so we offer an extra component that the days at sea, we have wonderful teachings and workshops and programs. And so on this particular cruise, January 6th through January 13th out of San Diego, we will have our very own Cat O'Keefe Cannabis teaching uh, Unmasking Your Dreams and doing a workshop with that. We have Peter Cannabis using his brilliance of quantum physics. And we'll probably be talking about his new book, we have Dr. David Goldberg, who will be talking about his own insights of spirituality. And I will be talking about my book and my life work, When Did You Die? So, and the music of Karen Drucker. She is the leading musician of New Thought Music. And we will have Heidi Alfrey as well, who will be teaching. So it's magical and every group that ever goes, you know, they usually don't want to go home, but mm -hmm. it's, it's the perfect space because no matter where you travel, you have minutia and details, but the beauty of spirit at sea travel, especially with a leader like Ari, he handles all the details. All you have to do is unpack your suitcase, find out which dining hall you want to go eat whether privately or a group, and have a good time. And it's beautiful to watch the before and after of mm. people that have that much space without having to make a decision and just to turn off their universe for seven days. Oh my gosh. I, you know, I can't wait. I am just, I am so excited. And I have never been a big cruiser I really, because I, I start to get bored on a cruise, but with this, you can go and learn and be involved in the learning with, with, with the workshops. There's no way you could possibly be bored on a cruise like this. And the other thing that I love about it so much, Temple, is it's during a time when there are snowstorms all over the country mm -hmm. you know you got to get your your shovel out start snow shoveling your snow out of the driveway to back your car off after you've completely cleaned your car off and you're <laughs> dripping wet and you're freezing imagine being in baja Cal uh, mexico on a cruise uh kick back relax you know we took so much for granted until we lost it during covid Mm -hmm. And now one of the things that we lost immediately was cruises. Cruises were shut down and now they are finally opening up. And, you know, I 
I really missed the camaraderie that you build when you're with a group of like-minded people. And that's what's so important, I think, about this group is we're all going to be like-minded, yet we're going to be learning from each other. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit mm -hmm. about this particular cruise line um, and uh, what, what actually makes this cruise line so special. Well, as I said, Ari has traveled the world since he's in his 20s. And so he's beyond 60 at this point, And I'll leave it at that. And I have been like cruising since I was in high school. And uh, I have tried many, many ships as has he. Holland America is just very, very dedicated to the higher end of customer service. Is it the top of the line cruises as far as, um, you know, tens of thousands of dollars? No, but it's definitely a step up to the family oriented, the cutesy cruises and stuff like that. It's um, definitely a step up. The food is excellent. The service, we're always pleased every time we've gone on Holland America. So when we can choose it. You know, the thing of it is with cruises, it always depends on what size of meeting room you want and where you want to port from. So that mm -hmm. always has a lot to do with your choice. But I will tell you, borrow none, when we can choose Holland America, that's the one we always go with. The other thing I like about the cruise that we're offering and the cruise that we offer is people can put down a refundable because of Ari's relationship, you can put down a refundable deposit of only $150. I mean, come on. And you put down the deposit just to secure your room, just that's to amazing. say, I'm in and I'm coming. And that's definitely a real plus that's not always available. And the reason we want that deposit is because we're telling the ship please block this many rooms. And if we're not going to use the room space, mm -hmm. it's very unfair to a ship to block off rooms that aren't being used because they always want to fill it. Wow. Uh, through the years, lots of questions come up. Like, are we going to do a, an excursion together? We usually pick one that we'll recommend and a bunch of us as a group go. Um, you can be as connected or not connected as you want to be. In other words, you can come to every program that we offer, or you can pick and choose the ones that you want to come to. Mm -hmm. You can do the evening meal with the group. They also have high-end restaurants that you can do private dining with a loved one. You can get involved with everything the ship has to offer. Um, and it really is the best of all worlds in that you get to be with people learning, experiencing, um, having a great time. We're going to have Rick Finbo, who also does uh, tarot readings. He's a magician. And we've got a lot of surprises for you. But you can do that as a participant. And you still get the full benefit of almost a full day to do other things that the ship provides at sea. We never get in the way of the evening events, you know, the big theatrical kind of performances in the main rooms. So they We're, do have that. They do have that. So you get to go to these really high-end shows. And depending on the, uh, if you go early bird or late, uh, choices of food is when you can either go to the first show or the second show. But you get to do it all. And the shows are really, they really are great quality, um, more so than, you know, what you might think. I mean, they, they just put a lot of energy into making sure that, that all their passengers are well provided and, and well entertained. It is so fun. I mean, and it's this, just... And this, uh... This cruise is on uh, the um, Holland America line Königsdam, which mm -hmm. is out of Holland. And it's going to be an incredible, an incredible cruise. I'm just going to give you a little more information on it. So it's a seven day 
Baja, Mexico, January 6th to the 13th cruise, 2024. And it's round trip from San Diego. So those of you listening who are in California, you can just drive to San Diego and, and catch your, the cruise there. And then it's round trip. So you could leave your car in San Diego, get on the boat, cruise it, and come back to San Diego and drive home. That's what I really like. That is really cool. So we will be driving from uh, Palm Springs, this Palm Springs area to San Diego. We'll spend a couple of days in San Diego playing, get on the cruise ship. You know what I really like about Cruise Ships Temple? It's like a floating hotel. Mm -hmm. And so instead of, you know, let's say you wanna go on a, uh, let's say you wanna go on a trip to Mexico and you're in your car, you have to drive down, get a hotel, when you're in the hotel, you've got to go find a restaurant. And mm -hmm. then after you find the restaurant and you eat and you pay for it, you drive back to your hotel. And the next day or the following day, you have to load everything back up into the car and drive to the next hotel and start the whole process over again. Okay, where are we going to go for breakfast? Where are we yeah. going to go for lunch? Where are we going to go for dinner? Pack everything back into your suitcase. Pack it all back into the car drive to the next hotel by the fourth day, I'm ready for divorce. Yep, that's right. That's, that's so right. And, you know, you are in the, uh, the hotel business. I mean, that's your family business. And I'm always shocked when people say to me, that's a little bit high for a cruise. And I'm like, what? No. Here, uh, the cheap end of a hotel here is starting at, $300, $400 a night. That's true in Tampa Bay, Florida. I mean, hello, unless you stay at one of those, we won't even go there. But any hotel that has a quality or a service or it has a restaurant within it or et cetera, it's going to start at three, 400. Multiply that by seven. So now you're at 3,000. You haven't had the first thing to eat. You've had no sat snacks. You've had no treats. You're talking, you know, four and five thousand dollars for a real nice vacation, like you said, that you've never rested because you're too busy jumping from the next place. For the the whole thing to me about a vacation is I don't have to make any decisions. That's what. I've loved about traveling through Europe, which we'll do those at some point, um, or traveling um, just outside of the States from a port, is I don't have any decisions to make except where I want to go eat, which level, who do I want to go eat with? I mean, non-complicated, easy <laughs> choices to make. And it I'm telling you, it's a, it's a dream and it's a dream for carnivores. It's a dream for people like me that are vegan in nature. They have so many choices of things that you can eat and they all treat you so personal too. You know, um, the maitre d' and all of them get to know you right up front and they make sure that you really love the service. It, I find it, you know, fascinating. You know, it, it really used to bother me because uh, of the waste. You know, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but uh, there's so much waste because people take things and put it on their plate and they don't eat it. And, you know, I'm, I'm one of these stuff, yeah. like, oh. Let's talk know. about that when we come back. We've got to take a quick break you got it that is something that i do want to talk about are the buffets and the waste and all that and 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 uh some of the things that we're going to do so uh it's time for a break it's hard to believe that that we've already been going through the first <laughs> <laughs> section of this of this uh show not for so you don't and go me away. Uh, i'm cat cannabis your host and we are talking with uh reverend dr temple hayes about spirit of the sea cruise we'll be right back What if dreams can diagnose your life? 
What if we can meet the love of our life in dreams? Join host Cat O'Keefe Cannabis, the number one internationally best-selling author of Dreams That Can Save Your Life, written with Duke University medical doctor Larry Burke. Dreaming Healing is where we'll explore dreams, research, and interpret dreams from you, the caller. Dreaming Healing Shows can be heard every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern with live shows on the first and third evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific Time on syndicated Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. Come live your dreams out loud with Cat. Are miracles real? Can you move from mayhem to miracles? 30 prominent authors say yes as they share their high fives and down lows of challenges, abuse, addiction, and love. Experience hope, the magic elixir of miracles, through the personal stories of New York Times best-selling authors James Redfield, Dr. Bernie Siegel, Sister Jenna, Reverend Temple Hayes, and many more. If you like bestsellers, chaos to clarity, and crappy to happy, you'll love crying and laughing through Mayhem to Miracles, sacred stories of transformational hope. Available now on Amazon and in bookstores worldwide. Did you know that every word you speak matters? What you say and how you say it can make or break a relationship or shift the outcome of any situation. Are your conversations making a difference? Faith in God, gratitude, authenticity, and giving are Teresa Velarde's heart. It's in this spirit that she's focused on making a difference in the lives she's blessed to touch. Conversations That Make a Difference is now on syndicated Dream Vision 7 radio network every Tuesday at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Time with live call-in shows every first and third Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. In a world facing annihilation, a miraculous African nun rises to become the first female pope through a web of war, murder, and betrayal. Loved by some, hated by many, she becomes the deadly target of Islamic terrorists and her own cardinals as she introduces a new vision that will either save humanity or accelerate its destruction. Four people must race against a nuclear holocaust to learn her astonishing secret. Pope Annalisa is available at PeterCanova.com, Amazon, and other online booksellers and bookstores worldwide. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. Welcome back, everyone. I am Cat Cannabis, Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis, but hey, my friends all call me Cat, so I hope you will too. You are listening to or watching Dreaming Healing on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. And if you are only listening right now and you'd like to watch us because we are live TV, you can go to my website, just type in the Queen of Dreams or Cat, the Queen of Dreams. It'll take you to my website. And if you look up at the top left-hand corner, the second button, black button over, you'll see Dream Vision Radio. Click that. It'll take you to my website on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. And you'll see my face and the, the shows. And you'll see a little TV with a little antenna on it. Click that. And it's going to take you live to the show right now. Okay? So just before the break, we were talking about the positive aspects of cruising versus just going on a vacation. And I've traveled all over Europe and I was never a big cruise person because I, I was always afraid I would get bored on a cruise. So I had only been on one cruise and I didn't like it because I did get bored. But what I did love even about that cruise is it's like you have a floating hotel. You don't have to pack your bags, put them in the trunk of your car, drive to the next place, unload your suitcases, hang up your clothes, go walk around a few places, try to find somewhere to eat that's affordable without a reservation and um, you know, still have a relaxing vacation. By the time I would be done with my vacation, I needed a vacation from my vacation. 
So uh, just before the break, Temple and I were talking about that. And, you know, if you go to a regular hotel, they're expensive. You're stuck in one place. Okay. So let's say you're at a hotel where it's three fifty four hundred dollars a night. You're only in that area. And then you still have to go find somewhere to eat and pay for that as well. When you're on a cruise, you are spoiled rotten. There's no other way to describe it. You are spoiled rotten. And that's where we want to pick up again. So Temple, um, just before the break, we were talking about how, uh, you know, Holland America line, uh, Königsdom is, is a great, great cruise ship and mm -hmm. how you don't have to go make reservations. You don't have to worry about um, uh, staying within a budget for your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. It's all on the cruise ship. You are right there. So let's talk about the lack of waste also with the cruise ship. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing I, I, I want to be sure that we mention is I don't ever put on weight on a cruise. If anything, I usually lose. Because a lot of times when you're traveling to certain places and you stay at hotels, you don't even know if the area is safe or not you know, to walk or whatever, mm -hmm. unless they happen to have a gym and that's always a plus, but there's so much to do on the cruise ship and they have a walking track and workout room and classes and stuff like that. It's just, I can't say enough about it, but when I was saying that it used to trouble me because of all the waste, uh, I talked to um, some of the managers one time on the ship and most of these uh, cruise lines have spent millions of dollars in a machine that processes all of that wasted food and it goes into the sea life. And so everybody wins. So oh. that was just like, oh, OK, yeah. I can sit with this now. I can I can feel good about this yeah. um, and and know that somehow this wonderful circle of life is carrying on and that there's a benefit factor, not just seeing it as a less than, but to see the abundance of that. And that just, that just made my day. You know how I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, feeding you the know, animals. And yeah. especially the animals. So um, anyway, um, it just, it's just one of my favorite subjects because um, on any vision board, pretty much I've ever done, I've always had a picture of a cruise ship with a bow around it. Because like I said, I, I love living like I'm spoiled. And if you don't know what it's like to feel like you are spoiled, or if you're the leader of a household and you have adapted and caused it yourself, I want to just say that again, you've caused it yourself, that you have to take care of everything and everyone, and you're in that martyr role. You can free yourself for that for seven days and get a new window of what it feels like to be pampered, to do what you want, um, to be highly taken care of. And what I love too, um, Kat, is the the team, the the steward, the the room. Um, what would he be called? You know, the, the tends steward. to the room. Yeah, yeah. Um, they are so cool and you get to know them and they're so fun and they're from all over the world. Many of them speak, you know, two and three languages and they'll decorate your towels at night, like in the shape of a monkey or in the shape of an elephant. And um, it's just so fun. Just a it's touch of class all the way around. My only thing with the cruise is that when we first get home, I'm looking around. Yeah. Who, who's cleaning my table? <laughs> who's, who's picking up my dirty towels? Um, it, it, it's a bit of a shocker. <laughs> yeah, it is. And a you bit know, of it feels a shocker. so good to be able to, to call or, or leave the, the little note on your door so, saying what time you want your coffee or your, yeah. or your Danish delivered to your door in the morning so that you don't have, you can, you can have your coffee while you're getting ready. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it, you're, you're spoiled, you're pampered. And we need that, especially after what we've gone through with COVID. We yes. deserve it. We deserve it. And yes, um, 
The other thing that I want to talk about, uh, especially with this cruise and with us, I mean, we're talking generality cruises here, but with this cruise, if you're going through Spirit of the Sea, uh, Spirit at Sea Gratitude Cruise, this one in particular, and I'm going to give you the 800 number to make reservation, you know, now, uh, it's 800 658 6869. And you want to speak with Michelle at the official reservation line. And do you know you Michelle's last name? Huh? Did you know Michelle's last name? I don't. It's Prey. Prey? I kid you not. Her <laughs> name is, I know you can't make this stuff up. Her last name is Prey. So her name is Michelle Prey. I called her up. I went, you got to be kidding me. You know, when I was reserving my room, I'm like, what? And uh, you can also go to templehaze.com and the itinerary and everything's right there on the uh, landing page of my website, if that would help in any yeah, way. And it's yeah. on my Facebook page. And so on I your Facebook you know, page. This author speaker, it's pinned to the top. So all that information is on it. But uh, what I wanted to talk about to anybody who's listening to this show right now going, but I don't know Temple and I, I don't know Kat and I don't know any of those people. And I live out here in Indiana where the snow is, is really deep in the winter. I'm going to be all by myself. I don't have anybody to go with me. I guarantee you, you are not going to be alone if you are with us. Am I right, Temple, or what? Oh, my gosh. You're going to go home with as many friends as you choose to you choose to have. And um, you'll feel that instant connection. And like I said, you're as related as you want to be. Mm -hmm. If you want to make some connections there, you will. Some of us will actually offer one-on-one uh, -on -one uh, get togethers with people that are interested because we all have our own gifts in mm -hmm. addition to uh, speaking or workshopping. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you absolutely, I mean, Ari has friends that have continued to meet as a group wherever he goes in the world. And they all, that's their time of coming together like a reunion. So it's fabulous. If you're thinking that's who you are today, you won't be that way tomorrow. If you decide to be on this cruise with us, you'll meet so many amazing people that have similar interests and goals as you do. And there's still room on the cruise, right? It's not like we uh -huh. have to worry about being shut out. No, but you need to act now, you know, while the, and I'm, that's not a sales pitch. It's just mm -hmm. that we're getting further and further into the year. And um, the ship at some point will look at our inventory and make sure that we have filled it. So it is important, even if you're on the fence, just pay your 150. And if you change your mind, you'll get it back, which yeah. is very unusual. Yeah. And, and, and when you get on the cruise, just know that Temple and I are going to be on there. If, if you're watching this show, you already know two people. Um, That's right. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing the dreams and Temple's going to be, what are you going to be doing, Temple? Tell us a little bit about what you're you know, going to be doing. You know me, there's no telling what I'll, what I'll be doing. More than likely, I will be talking about the concepts in my book, how I stay forever young how I have so much energy compared to most people in certain age groups, um, how to walk through the spaces of life. I'll probably do like a group retrieval because we certainly can use it coming out of post-traumatic stress from the, um, the pandemic and, um, you know, things of that nature, real tools that people can use for a vibrant and dynamic life. Hmm. We'll probably so, have Bibi also. We'll probably have her doing her flute and doing some meditation. And oh, we just have so much fun. Yeah. It's, and we have music too. We're going to yes, have music on board. Yeah, yeah. We sure do. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I want to talk about, I'm just going to introduce what I'm doing and then we'll probably have to come back. We're already going into our second break. This show is going so fast. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking about uh, dreams. 
but it's not just, you know, where you sit around in a circle and you talk about your dreams. I'm going to be doing Dreams Unmasked. It's a workshop that I do. And Dreams Unmasked usually focuses on a dream or a nightmare that you can't get rid of. And so I have all of these masks, these beautiful masks that I have collected from around the world, big masks. And when I do my workshop, the people sitting in the workshop have said that suddenly the masks, their mask will start calling to them, whether it's the color or the design, something about that mask will call to them. And they'll come up and they'll pick that mask and they'll sit down holding it in the chair. And suddenly the dream just floods them. And we work as a whole group on your dream. And we help you find that little nugget of gold in that dream. So that what used to be a nightmare is now a gift in disguise. I've got to take a quick break where we're at that point, but don't go away because when we come back, we're going to talk about why it's important to embrace gratitude right now, why it's more important than possibly ever before, and how we're going to actually weave that into our crews. And I'm going to be talking about publishing because that's the other thing I do. I'm a publisher. So don't go away. We'll be right back. You are watching Dreaming Healing on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. What if dreams can diagnose your life? What if we can meet the love of our life in dreams? Join host Cat O'Keefe Cannabis, the number one internationally best-selling author of Dreams That Can Save Your Life, written with Duke University medical doctor Larry Burke. Dreaming Healing is where we'll explore dreams, research, and interpret dreams from you, the caller. Dreaming Healing shows can be heard every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern with live shows on the first and third evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific time on syndicated Dream Vision 7 radio network. Come live your dreams out loud with Cat. Omega Institute, offering workshops, retreats, and online learning dedicated to awakening the best in the human spirit. For over 40 years, Omega has seen more than 1 million people come through its doors to grow, learn, and find a greater sense of purpose. Located in Rhinebeck, New York, just 90 miles north of New York City, Omega's natural environment and quiet pace allow for extraordinary experiences to unfold. Learn more at eomega.org or call 800-944-1001. Why are we here? How can we be happy? Questions asked from millennials to boomers. Crappy to happy. Sacred stories of transformational joy answers them using true stories of grit, grace, and love. James Redfield, author of The Celestine Prophecy, wrote in the foreword, This book is a seminar about emerging truths and offers grounded solutions through the art of the comeback. Dr. Bernie Siegel, a contributing author, wrote, Bodies die, but spirits and consciousness survive and recycle. So grab some tissues, open your book, and prepare to cry and laugh till it heals. Crappy to Happy by Reverend Ariel Patricia and Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis. Available from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and booksellers worldwide. Darkest hours to brightest moments. Transformation from despair to happiness. And chaos to clarity. Real people, real pain, real healing. Life-threatening illness, death, Abusive relationships, divorce, and overcoming addiction are challenges these men and women faced head on. See how they emerged stronger and happier. Buy the new book, Chaos to Clarity, Sacred Stories of Transformational Change by Reverend Patricia Caginello and Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis. Available on sacredstoriespublishing.com and worldwide through Amazon and other retailers. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, 
bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. Welcome back, everyone, to Dreaming Healing on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. I am your host, Kat Cannabis, and we are speaking with Reverend Dr. Temple Hayes, and we're talking about, um, I'm going to hold it up here so you can see it, Spirit at Sea, uh, the Spirit at Sea Gratitude Cruise, not just any cruise, but Gratitude Cruise. And just before the break, I was talking about how I'm going to be working on Dreams Unmasked. Because so many of us are held back by nightmares, recurrent nightmares, that we can't move forward. We can't live our dream life because our nightmares are holding us back. Be amazed at how many people go through that. So I'm going to be bringing a whole suitcase (laughs) full of my masks on board so that you can choose through those masks. Find the one that's going to help you work through that nightmare, work through that dream to find your inner strength to move forward and live your dream life. The other thing that uh, Temple Hayes was talking about, we're gonna be um, doing one-on-one sessions is I am actually um, one of the co-publishers of We Be Books Publishing. And so I'm gonna be talking about the new trends in publishing and how if you have a story you should think about creating your legacy to leave behind. And that would be a book. My book, Dreams That Can Save Your Life, was actually translated into Italian. Yep, right there, Italian. And just within the past few weeks, (laughs) it was translated. Do I have it? Yeah, it was translated into Chinese. Now, when I first got this temple, I thought, what the heck? Which end is up? Which part is the front? Oh, I'm so proud of you. Look at that. I love it. Wow. So um, I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. I found dreams that can save your life written in the very bottom corner. And I said, okay, that's the back of the book. So this is the front of the book. And uh, so now I know how to hold it up. But I'm going to talk about, on the cruise, I'm going to talk about you publishing your stories. Become a published author. Give back to the world whatever your crisis was. Give back to the world by sharing it with others and coming through that storm and explaining to the reader how you made it through the storm. We all go through storms, Temple. But it's how we came through the storm that makes all the difference in the world. And I know you've done that in your books as well. Well, I I love the work that you've done. And more importantly to me is the fact that you support people in many cases that have always had the desire to be an author. But a book all unto themselves can be a little bit overwhelming. And so often you'll pull several people together like you did with um, Mayhem to Miracle or Crappy Mm -hmm. to Happy. I mean, I had already been an author of a book, but I also remembered what a leap that was for me just to accept that I had the ability to be an author or a writer. And Mm -hmm. so um, I love what you do and you do it very effectively and a lot of unknown authors become known because of the commitment and what you do for them. It's very powerful. <clears throat> You're one of the few publishing companies that I've worked with that actually care about the success of the writer. Thank you. you know? and well, that's yeah. true. I mean, not long ago, I was involved with an organization and it, it just wasn't about the benefit of the author. So I pulled out because, you know, it's about everybody working together. And I think that that's kind of where we are coming out of COVID into real life again, is that we're more sensitive. We're more mm-hmm. in tune with who fits our, our vibe is, you know, makes our tribe as a, a friend of mine says, and that we don't want to work with people that collectively we're not more together, right. you know, 
And um, yeah, I, I love what you're doing and I've, I've seen how you've changed a, a lot of lives. Um, I, I think of like Sondra Kitt, you know, that always dreamed of being an author and her esteem went up, you know, times 40%. Well, you know, I was I was just talking about that in a, a show I did um, a couple Tuesdays ago before this one, where when you finally say, I'm a published author, my book is on Amazon and it's in bookstores, there's something about that it just changes you. Mm -hmm. You're different now. You're not the person you were before. You are a published author. And I don't know, you, you just kind of puff up a little bit more with pride. So one of the things that I'd really like to do on the cruise is see how many of our people on the cruise would maybe like to do a, a compilation book together called Cruising with Gratitude. Absolutely. And just, I think that's just very you know, powerful. bring those stories in because mm -hmm. that's what this that's what this cruise is all about. And when my authors are successful, I'm successful. When they're not successful, I need to find out why and make them successful. Because right. like you, I'm not a failure. <laughs> I do not embrace it. I do not accept it. It's not a part of my life. Mm -hmm. I only want success and happiness. I want whoever is in my books to love being in those books. I want them happy. And I know that we can do that on this cruise. So spirit at sea cruise, gratitude cruise. And that is the most important part of this temple that, that I wanted to, to bring back into this conversation um, before we came to the end because it's, it's happening really fast. Gratitude. Why do you suppose gratitude is so important right now because I'm hearing a lot of the word gratitude, but I'm not seeing a lot of the action gratitude. Well, the way we perceive our world is always equivalent to how our world is seen. You know, it's simple math, one plus one equal one. And so if I am um, making a choice within a given day to look at what's wrong, what's wrong with the weather, what's wrong with this, what's wrong with that, <clears throat> multiplied that by, you know, several hundred. And it just, it's such a, a vibrant zapper, you know, of, of the life force. But if you start the day looking at, at, a, at a moment, at an energy um, of why you are participating in the world at large. A while ago, I just drove to LA to see my favorite orthogonal chiropractor. And when I was going up the second steps, there was the biggest bug there, like up on those steps, like, how did I get here? What's happening? Oh you know, gosh. and I, and I, you know, and you know me. So I went, okay, you Stay you with me that. now. So I pull out one of my, uh, you know, debit cards and I go hang in there. And I put my purse over to the side and I carried this little bug down the steps and it stayed with me the whole time. And things like that just make my day because I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful that I happened to be the one that was there because somebody would done, have done the squishy wishy on this bug, you know? So mm -hmm. it's like a sense of gratitude. It multiplies and it, it shifts the vision of your inner glasses and wisdom that you start looking for it. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is going to be the... The greatest day, it's like the comedian Loretta LaRoche will say, you know, once you get into this thing of that something's working against you and then you're running late, it's like the late committee comes and all the cars pull out in front of you to make you late. And it's just like mega drama. Yeah. But if you just step back and go, it's all working. I'm cruising with gratitude. I give thanks for my life. I give thanks that I can drive. I give mm -hmm. thanks that my car works. I give thanks that blah, blah, blah. And it's just more and more and more. So 
Yeah, it's a really awesome way of living. It really mm -hmm. is. And it's one shift, one pivotal shift that creates a whole change for all of it, really. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what's going to happen. If you're listening to this show and you want to join us, you're going to be creating that shift of gratitude because we're, we will all be grateful for having your presence with us, mm -hmm. meeting us, becoming a part of our new tribe. And um, I can't think of anything that I would rather do in life they make new friends. I love friends. So definitely uh, consider during that big snowstorm. Yeah, that big snowstorm in January. You know what I'm talking about. January 6th through the 13th, round trip from San Diego aboard the Holland America Line Königsdom, which come and pamper yourself. Come pamper yourself with us. Have fun with us. Bring your stories with you. Bring your dreams with you. And know that um, we're going to have a great time. A great time. So Temple, if they would like to find out a little bit more about you before they commit to the cruise, how can they find you? Uh, just very simple. My website Temple Hayes, T-E-M-P-L-E is my first name, H-A-Y-E-S, so templehayes.com. And I'm findable, or you can Google me. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, yes, I'm looking forward to, to connecting with many of you that I haven't met before, but I, I can say that there's something about uh, being out at sea very powerful and you automatically feel a connection to most people that you will meet. It's pretty, pretty profound. Mm -hmm. You will not yeah. feel alone. And you can do us. yoga and you can go to dance class and you can play bingo and you can do the wet shirt contest. If you are one of those. <laughs> so inclined. Or you can do absolutely nothing. And yep. just show up to the classes if you want to show up to the classes whenever you want to show up to the classes. You can join us for dinner or you can dine alone. Hey, it's your gratitude cruise. Whatever makes you happy makes us happy as well. And uh, Temple and I actually met uh, for the first time like years ago in my husband's first book, Hopi and Elisa, came out. He just published his his uh, latest book, which, he, which he's going to be talking about on the cruise, Quantum Spirituality. It's mm. really, uh, really cool. He's actually, I don't know if you know this or not, Temple, but they are actually going to fly him out to Denver, and he's going to be on Gaia TV. Of course he is. So not <laughs> surprising. Says, so matter of fact, of course he is. Of course he is. That's yeah, wonderful. So, so uh, we're going to be doing all that on the cruise, and um, we'd really like to have all of you come and join us. Come and play, party, have fun. Absolutely. Thank you, Temple, so much for being on the show with me. Um, yes, my and pleasure. I was telling our, our, our listeners, you know, you and I met when Peter's first book came out. And then I moved down to Treasure Island down here in Florida. And you were at First Unity in St. Petersburg. And we reconnected. And since then, we've, we've been um, inseparable. So, yep. uh, and now you're out in California. I'm still here, but I do go back to California to the Palm Springs area. Yep. It's, uh, it's the beautiful thing of relationship, like you said. Mm -hmm. And it's so really it doesn't powerful. matter where we are. We are always still together. So thank you so much for joining us on Dreaming Healing on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. And we hope to see you on the Gratitude Cruise. Good night, thank everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us this evening. And a big thanks to our producer. Tune in next time to Dreaming Healing for more cutting-edge research, live dream interpretations, and stories with radio host and award-winning author, Cat O'Keefe Cannabis. Listen every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Time with call-in live shows on the first and third evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific Time on syndicated Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. 
Remember, everyone dreams, but some dreams save lives. Live your dreams. Find more about Cat at KathleenO'KeefeCanvas.com. That's Kathleen with a K. O K E E F E K A N A V O S. Or the Queen of Dreams on Google Search. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow.